In this video, I would like to tell you what I felt and still feel in constantly from the foolish virgins. What's the difference between the wise and foolish virgins? Well, one obvious fact is that the foolish ones do not have the Holy Ghost, while the wise ones do. Yet the other is not so obvious that the foolish ones are of the world while the wise ones are not of the world. Foolish ones like to appeal to the world, while the wise appeal to the kingdom of heaven. For example, foolish ones appeal to the oldest scrolls of Isaiah, believing that's God's preserved word. Likewise, foolish ones like to believe God will write his word in ink, but the wise know he writes it in the hearts of the saints. According to their stupidity, when the world goes kaput, his words gonna go kaput. No matter how old the earth is, and the works of the world will go kaput and be burned up but his words will be preserved forever and will never go kaput. This also means even though the oldest remnant from the scrolls of Isaiah goes kaput along with the world, his words will be preserved forever in the hearts of the saints. The foolish ones keep appealing to the things of the world. But as for the wise ones, we shall appeal to the kingdom of heaven. That's the difference between the wise and the foolish. Although I slept and slumbered with them, and I had my fun and foolishness with them, I cannot help but notice that they are still of the world. One may say, what do you mean? You are also in the world. Well, being of the world, and in the world are quite different. Although I am in it, that doesn't mean I am of it. Foolish virgins can espouse Christianity all they want, according to their self-righteousness. But because they are of the world, they appeal everything to the world. They appeal to the all these scrolls, books, things of the world, and so on. They say they believe in God, but what they believe is what they have in the world, whether that's doctrines, theologies, or even the oldest scrolls of Isaiah. They appeal to such things of the world, as if the world will last forever. This is why they put their eyes in the world, not above. This is why the foolish ones will perish with the world. If you are truly tonal, you will not put your eyes in the world, but rather in the kingdom of God, His will, His righteousness, in the kingdom of heaven.